What's going on, everybody? So I've started doing little film breakdowns on Thursdays. Uh, ironically, the last two have been of that Thursday night game. So I'm going to kind of continue this trend. And while the last two narratives for the Thursday night game have been the quarterbacks, I figured this was as good of an opportunity as ever to hit on something I've been talking about for two years. Uh, it's a big take of mine that Blake Martinez is one of the most overrated players in the NFL. He's a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, so before I get into the film, to, to back that all up, I, I do need to preface a couple things. Number one, Blake Martinez can play. If you were a 4-3 team and he was your third linebacker that came in on third and one or in goal line packages, or if this team had invested in another linebacker that you can actually ask to move in space and cover and do a lot of the things that we're going to point out that Blake Martinez just can't do, then that's fine. But it's been mind-numbing to me that Green Bay and Green Bay fans have stood by Blake Martinez basically just for the aesthetically pleasing tackle numbers. And that's the other point I want to make is that not only are all stats overrated and numbers literally do lie all the time, despite the saying, but tackle numbers themselves, as I'm going to show some clips of right here, are possibly the most overrated stat in all of sports. And the problem is just like passing yards for a quarterback or receiving yards for a receiver, People are going to look at tackle numbers for a linebacker and assume that those are the good linebackers. And that's what I think has led to Blake Martinez being viewed as so overrated because he does have a lot of tackle numbers. But like you could literally just meet a guy's a guy 15 yards downfield and push him out of bounds tackle. You could get beat in coverage. And if you're with the guy, bring him down as he catches the ball on you for 20 yards. That's a tackle. You could literally miss a tackle. And as long as your teammate's there to clean it up right away, you'll still get the tackle. Or, like, you can just be standing there and touch the guys as going to the ground as the rest of your teammates tackle them, and you get a tackle. So this idea that just looking at high tackle numbers and the casual fan concluding that he can play because he gets tackles is absolutely mind-numbing. To me, a good linebacker, especially in 2019 when coverage is more important than ever, does a combination of four things. Number one, cover players. Like, just be a coverage linebacker. Run sideline to sideline. Move in space well. Number two, stop the ball from reaching the line to gain. This could be, for a lot of people, your number one priority. Just prevent first downs. Know where the ball carry is trying to go and stop him from getting the first down. That's what football's all about, is picking up first downs and moving the chains number three is creating turnovers i want a linebacker on my team that can be aggressive and create plays because it's probably the position in the in the on the defense outside of pass rushers that have the best opportunity to attack the ball and create turnovers whether you're stripping it swatting the ball intercepting the ball whatever it may be i mean i don't have any clips of that because blake martinez literally doesn't do it uh, but then number four is just limit big plays. That's the job of the linebacker and the safety, in my opinion. Like, just don't allow those big chunk plays. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to break that down. One, two, and four. Uh, like I said, I don't have any examples of Blake Martinez creating turnovers because he just doesn't do it. So let's take a look at coverage. Now, I will be completely honest. It's a little harder to find these clips. Uh, I only had so much time to sort through Blake Martinez tape. I was able to find some good examples, but even Packers fans wouldn't tell you that Blake Martinez is some elite coverage linebacker. His big thing is that he's good against the run, which we will break down later. Um, but I did find some examples of his just inability to move in space and why he should not be a starting number one nickel linebacker. Here you go. Prime example right here. Not only does he lack the instincts to understand what this receiver is doing, but you can see the lack of the ability to change direction. You can see the lack of burst. It's not an easy play to make, and I'm not even saying you need to expect your guy to make that play, but you picture Jalen Smith, Kwan Alexander, some of these really good cover linebackers, Deion Jones. They can change direction and move a little bit better than that, Blake. This is the movement skills of a third linebacker in a 4-3 defense that you want on third and one. Not a guy that you want covering a slot wide receiver. And you can see here, you know, everyone else is just moving in that hyper speed compared to him. All right, here's another one. So this is a blitz. For one, I just don't know what he's doing. He's supposed to be this smart player. That's his man. Um, I, I don't know what he's pointing at. 
can make whatever excuse you want for him. Maybe you help me understand, but this is man coverage. It's a blitz. It's a cover one blitz. It's not that complicated, Blake. Or a cover three match, one of the two. <laughs> like... For one, why are you so slow to get out there? But, like, he's just standing there when the ball snapped, and then just, oh, my God. Do you see how slow he's moving? Do you see that? Oh, first down? Darn. That's, that's not okay. That's not a nickel linebacker. He's moving like a defensive end. All right, here's the last coverage play. It's just like a lack of instincts. The reaction time is so bad. Like, he overcommits on the play action. Fine. Now you can see that it's not a run. Find someone. Cover. He's just standing there. First down. All right. Now this is the uh, second thing that good linebackers do. Prevent the line to gain, right? Make defensive stops. Pretty simple concept. All right. Here we go. Read option. You can see here, Trubisky's got the ball. He's protecting the goal line. Trubisky gets bumped, and Martinez doesn't have the reaction time and quickness to adjust and get in the way. He actually ends up kind of helping Trubisky get into the end zone. Complete whiff. All right, here's another one. This one's in coverage. I like what he's doing to this point. Good route uh, concept recognition, but he at this point should be pretty clear that, you know, he's already, keep in mind, he's already given this up. He is, he should know that he's no longer covering this part of the field. So at this point, I would say at this point, give it another t a step. He, he recognizes, okay, he's running and he's going. So let's just play bocce ball for a second. You can see my cursor, right? Maybe not. Um, but so I'm going to pretend the cursor's here. So the, the bocce's here. You guys have played bocce, right? You make the triangle. Martinez should be able to get there at whatever a, a triangle you want to make here. He should be able to get there as the number one linebacker. He should be able to get there before Joe Flacco. He just can't. He can't accelerate. He can't get there. First down, Broncos. But he gets a tackle. Okay, this one is one of my favorites right here. Prevent the line of gain. Goal line defense. This is this one's pathetic. But, all right. We talk about creating turnovers, right, as the third thing that linebackers do. A lot of that comes with aggressiveness and taking risks. And that's why Blake Martinez grades out well. He doesn't take a whole lot of risks. Now, a lot of times he does, and he guesses completely wrong. You very rarely see him take a risk, and he guesses right. But... He's not even taking a risk here. He's just standing there. Either guess this hole or this hole, but go. That's my big thing when I watch college tape. That's why I like Roquan Smith so much. You t make a guess and go, because just standing there is not going to do anything. And this is this is a large chunk of Blake Martinez plays. And it's why he gets so many tackles. It's why he grades out okay. He's conservative. And again, if he's your third or second linebacker, so be it. But my number one linebacker has to be a playmaker. He's just standing there. He lets Lindsey just walk into the end zone. Like, one of two things needs to happen here. You guess here and you go there. Plug that gap. Or you say, okay, he's reacting. Get over and guess that you can meet him in that hole. He does neither. He just stands and watches Lindsey go into the end zone. It's pathetic. Watch this angle. Yuck. Here's another goal line play. I'm not saying he should have made this play, but it's the effort that bothers me. This angle's a little better. So he get, he kind of guesses here, or he's protecting the cutback, which is fine. I'm not even putting this one on him, but it's the effort here. Once he gets to this point, he's still like, dude, you only have to play three more plays on this drive at max. Find a way to help get this guy down. Don't just stand there. Like, what are you doing? Like, taking a dump mid-play? All 
All right, what did we say earlier? Sometimes he guesses. Sweet. Great guess, Blake. Really killed it. Really prevented the line to gain here. This is maybe my favorite play in the entire tape right here. Let's play at full speed right there for a second. All right, the line to gain on this play is right about here. Draw play. Clay Matthews loses him in the backfield, but I want to show the other angle and how sad this is. This is supposed to be your number one linebacker, Green Bay. And you had a whole offseason to watch this guy's tape, and you decided, you know, we don't need to sign or draft anyone. Okay, at this point, clearly a draw play, right? You can see the balls there. Hell, Clay Matthews has even slowed him down real nice for you. Here's the line to gain. Go get him. Where's the aggressiveness? He stands there, looks like a penguin, and just gets juked out of his shoes, and they get the first down. Sweet. All right, a little sideline to sideline action. Another big problem I have with Blake Martinez is he almost like likes to get blocked. He he way too often does this where he just engages the linemen. You're telling me that the good linebackers in this league are going to engage them with this much space? Get going, dude. Why are you engaging? You could draw a hold. You could draw a block in the back. But instead, you want to just get blocked? So that's another thing with Blake Martinez. is he's, That's just a lack of instincts. But you can see, just no, no speed to the edge. First down, line to gain reached. All right, now here's the last one, preventing big plays. And this might be where he's best because he is a little more conservative. But you can still see some problems here. Again, way too easy to get blocked. No reaction time. No guessing. Letting the play come to him. That's why he gets so many tackles. And just look at the lack of movement. Abilities. This was a couple weeks ago. We know what happens here. Cook's gone. All right. Here's another one. Sideline to sideline. Gets blocked. Oh, but he got a tackle. Sweet. Nice tackle, Blake. Got to get those numbers. 15-yard gain, first down, 49ers. Different angle. Nice. All right, they're going to blitz you, Blake, because you can't cover, so we might as well see if you can sack the quarterback. Okay, gets blocked. Ah, put on your butt. First down, 49ers. Okay, now this one I'm not going to put on Blake, but I just want to acknowledge the um, lack of movement space. Uh, movement in space here <laughs> like good one's fast don't get me wrong and I'm not going to say any Blake, uh, any linebacker should make this play but I've seen it I've seen Deion Jones I've seen some other really good fast linebackers make that play but I mean my god I'm not going to linger on this one I just find that one funny because he just can't even turn around again sideline to sideline yeah, a little hold little hold but I mean god can't you can either sell it more or like can you just get a tackle like Raheem Mostart not exactly the hardest guy to bring down again third and two this could have been in the line to gain Ed's, he lets two guys block him he's close that one he guesses wrong. You know, I think you guys get the point here at this at this point. The ease of being blocked. There's no, no, you know, effort to get off. There's no rip. There's no spin. It's just okay. I'll just I'll just keep coming back. Hope Hope Howard comes right to me, and I'll catch him, and I'll get that tackle. This is just like the play we saw before. He's got a clean lane, but just no ability to get to the edge. Oh, no guessing. Just standing there. Like, Blake, if you're being read, is it that hard to know who they're reading? Like, aren't you supposed to be a smart player? Shouldn't you either be going or... Knowing that this is an RPO, I mean, you're reading the quarterback's eyes, right? 
Like, sweet, you're, you're reading his eyes. Have an awareness for where the ball could go. There's only one receiver here, Blake. There's one receiver. You even pointed at him. You're just expecting him to cover him because you pointed at him right before the snap? There's no arm flailing to get a swat. It's just watching. So that's it. That's the Blake Martinez highlight reel. Uh, Go get yourself a linebacker, Packers. You might have an elite defense.